Peace to everybody. Um, November is Native American Heritage Month, and no, I am not Native American, but I used to date one a long time ago, and believe me, it wasn't a pretty sight either to deal with the person I used to date, and he was full-blooded Seneca. But as you know, November is National is Native American History Month, sorry, and of course. There's a lot of things we don't know about the Native Americans, so this article should help. Native American history, early history. The history of Native Americans is both fascinating and in many ways tragic. Estimates range from about 10 to 90 million Native Americans inhabited America at the time of the European arrivals. They had lived in the men land many, many years before the white man set, set foot on their soil. It is believed that during the Ice Age, they had traveled a land bridge across the Bering Sound from Siberia into what is now Alaska. They had gradually migrated across the land and southward into Mexico and beyond. The name Indian was given them by Christopher Columbus, who mistakenly believed he had landed in the Indies. So there's um, the history of these Native Americans. They are both fascinating and tragic in many ways, of course, um, because their Native Americans did deal with death the best way they can and of course it's fascinating as well um, and of course it estimates from about 10 to 90 million Native Americans inhabited America at the same at the time of the European arrivals um, they had lived in the land many many years before the white man set foot on their soil so before white men has set foot on their soil they had the land first um, it is believed that during the Ice Age, they had traveled a land bridge across the Bering Sound from Siberia into what is now Alaska. And, of course, they had gradually migrated across the land and southward into Mexico and beyond. And, of course, Christopher Columbus mistakenly gave them the Native Americans Indians because he thought he landed in the Indies, and I don't think Christopher Columbus was too bright back then. They had been labeled uh -huh. Indians, American Indians, and the now preferred Native Americans. They migrated to all regions of the land and were formed into many different tribes or nations. These were a people who adapted well to their particular regions and made wise use of all natural resources available. They believed in respecting the land and the abundance of gifts is offered. They became proficient fishermen, hunters, farmed crops such as corn, and built homes with whatever available resources their territory provided. Some of these include included animal skins, sun-dried brick for adorbs, or lumber for longhouses, depending on the regions. And yes, it, it, is, it does depend on the regions for these houses that they built. They were fishermen, they were hunters, they farmed crops such as corn. Um, they um, they're... These were a people who adapted well to their particular regions. So these Indians have particular parts of the land that they were used to. But uh, then many years later, the white man did set foot on their land. And, you know, and of course, the Native Americans were not too happy about it at all because, you know, they didn't want the white man on their land at all. The Native Americans of the East Coast met the new 16th and 17th century visitors from Europe with enthusiasm. They regarded these bearded white men as strange, but were delighted with the steel knives, mirrors, copper kettles, 
and other intriguing novelties, the indigenous tribes were more than accommodating and hospitable. Without their aid, the first waves of settlers would not have survived in the land they knew little about. So yeah, so the six, so the, between the sixteenth, seventeenth, sixteenth and seventeenth century, the, um, the the Native Americans of the East Coast met their visitors from Europe with enthusiasm. Um, they did regarded these bearded white men as, as strange, but was delighted with the steel knives, mirrors, copper kettles, and other intriguing novelties. Uh, without their aid, the first waves of settlers would not have survived in the land they knew little about. So they only knew very little until the a until somebody helped them understand. But in time, the Europeans disregarded all respect for the valued land and resources and instead displayed insatiable greed and anger, ar arrogance. The Europeans soon pursued their intent to conquer this new continent with brutal attacks and evasion. The Native Americans soon realized that mm -hmm. the invaders would arrive in overwhelming numbers, as many as the stars in heaven. Initially, the people of this land tried to coexist with the Europeans, but many more problems arose with all their intriguing gadgets the white man brought deadly diseases to the Native Americans. Now, why would you want to blame that? <sighs> all right, so the Europeans disregarded all the respect for the valued land and resources and arrogance. Um, the Europeans soon pursued their intent to conquer the land, their, this new continent with brutal attacks and invasion. So the white man was not happy about it with the Native Americans. So they just, they wanted to get rid of them or just take over their land. Um, the Native Americans soon realized that the invaders would arrive in overwhelming numbers, mm -hmm. as many as the stars in heaven. Um, the people of this land tried to coexist with the Europeans, but many more problems arose, and now more problems had ro arose during that time. Um, of course, they're also blaming the white men brought deadly diseases to the Native Americans. I find that kind of hard to believe really about the white men brought deadly diseases to the Native Americans I really find that hard to believe because you know I mean why would some why would they do that to the Native Americans the Native Americans were are peaceful people they just want to live the way they want to live but instead the white men took over their land and their soil just so they could have the land. The colonists and explorers brought measles, smallpox, chloridia, yellow fever, and many more devastating diseases. This drastically diminished the Native American population and, and annihilated entire villages. In addition to this, the arrogant attitude of the ever-growing white led to the Indian Wars. The Indian Removal Act, 1830, and in 1890, one of the worst massacres ever. Wounded Knee, South Dakota, here warriors, women and children alike were ferociously slaughtered by the U.S. Cavalry. The U.S. government began relocation programs and the now famous Trail of Tears march where hundreds of Cherokee died from starvation, exposure, and illnesses. The Native American peoples were not only reduced in number but taken from their homes, striped stripped of their customs and even forbidden to speak their native languages. Their children were taken from them and sent to schools to civilize them, forced to abandon 
every aspect of their heritage. In January 1876, the U.S. government forced them to live on reservations where the majority of Native Americans still reside today. So during all this time, the men and I mean, the women and children, they were slaughtered. Um, and of course, the colonists and explorers, they brought measles, smallpox, chloridia, yellow fever, and more and many more devastating diseases. Um, this did drastically diminish the Native American population and annihilated entire villages. So their villages was annihilated by these colonists. Um, uh, in addition to the arrogant attitude of the ever-growing whites led to the Indian Wars, the Indian Removal Act, and of course it was 18, in 1830 and in 1890, one of the worst massacres um, ever. So there was a lot of go things going on during that time. Wounded Knee, South Dakota. Here warriors, women and children alike were ferociously slaughtered and you know it's just sad by the u.s cavalry and of course it's a sad thing what they had to do to the women and children and it it's not fair at all um the u.s government began relocation programs and the now famous trail of tears marched with hundreds of cherokee died from starvation so the cherokee indians they didn't have nothing at all. They were starving because they needed food, but instead they died from starvation. Exposure and illnesses also they had, um, and it's just sad what, what happened with these Native Americans. The Native American peoples were not only reduced in number, but taken from their homes as well. They were stripped of their customs and even forbidden to speak their native languages. So the Native Americans were not allowed to speak their own language. They were um, forced to speak English only and because they were not allowed to speak any kind of language but English. The children were taken from them and sent to schools to civilize them, forced to abandon every aspect of their heritage. So the children, they were forced to civilize to schools. Um, and of course, the children were forced to abandon every aspect of their heritage. So children today, they have no idea what their heritage is really because, you know, because they were stripped of that. I mean, in January 1876, the U.S. government forced them to live on reservations where the majority of Native Americans still reside today. So there's still pretty much a lot of Native Americans that do live on the reservations today. Some consider Native Americans as a resilient people. The Indian Citizens Act of 1924 offered official citizenship to the Native American tribes. This was partly due to the heroic service of many of them in World War I. Others like Jim Thorpe, Sequoia, and Sacagawea have represented their people with greatness. There are well over 500 recognized tribal governments currently in the U.S. They are self-governed and considered to be sovereign nations of people within America. There, there are currently more than 2.48 million Native Americans according to the 2000 Census Bureau. So, that's a lot so the native americans are growing growing every day so and this is according to the 2000 census bureau um some consider native americans as a resilient people the indian citizen act of 1924 offered official citizenship to the native american tribes um they also um 
Sacagawea, she was a tracker of of many things that she could look for. Um, Jim Thorpe Sequoia, he was a Sequoia Native American. Um, their people with greatness. There are well over 500 recognized tribal governments currently in the U.S. So currently there is 500 tribal governments that the Native Americans can be recognized for. Um, and of course there are currently more than 2.48 million Native Americans according to the 2000 Census Bureau. While most still live on the reservations, they are considered some of the most poverty-written areas in the United States. Unemployment is five times higher than the general U.S. populations, according to the 2002 Bureau of Indian Affairs. As with many defeated, oppressed people, they have suffered tremendously from the plagues of alcoholism and suicide. Mm -hmm. These were once a vibrant and resourceful people. They have been robbed, humiliated, and removed from all they knew. Though many have tried through the centuries to civilize, Christianize, and Americanize the Native American people, there are organizations today that recognize the important heritage of these nations. For example, Wiccani International says we want to see indigenous people come to know and experience ultimate freedom and deliverance from the powers of darkness that still prevail in lands and communities. So, um, yes, while most still live on the reservations they are considered some of the most poverty written areas in the united states so and of course their employment is five times higher than the u.s population so they they have the most unemployment rate um as with many defeated oppressed people they have suffered tremendously from the plagues of alcoholism and suicide um and these were once a vibrant and resourceful people. And if now the Native Americans, they have been robbed, humiliated, and removed from all they knew. So they no longer know what their heritage is about after they've been removed from all that they knew. And it's really sad. There are many have... Though many have tried through the centuries to civilize, Christianize, and Americanize the Native American people, there are organizations today that recognize the important heritage of these nations. So there are a lot of things that are still recognizable, but not but what the Native Americans have been stripped of everything. Now they just want to do what they want to do now it's like civilize them christianize them and americanize them but a lot of native americans are not going to go for it today obviously and um because they want to know their heritage they want to know who they are they want to know they want to teach their children where they came from this is what they want but now the government is saying no you can't do it and and it's sad that the Native Americans can't speak their own language. And all, um, we want to see indigenous people come to know and experience ultimate freedom and deliverance from the powers of darkness that still prevail in lands and communities. So they, these in Native Americans, they want to prevail the lands of darkness. They want to get rid of the darkness. Um, because it's still there, and they and they just want to get rid of it. They want to go back to their own ways, but it's kind of hard to do because of what the government did to them, and of course, prevailing lands and communities, and of course, they their powers were from the powers of darkness. It's just for. It's really really sad what these Native Americans had gone through, and it's not fair at all. 
I'm just hoping that they will go back to their ways, but if not, I, I, you know, the government is just so evil for what they've done to these wonderful people. And you know, the Native American music is really beautiful, it's peaceful, you could just, I don't know, just relax through the whole thing, and it feels like you're just somewhere far away, and this is how these Native Americans are, and of course their music is wonderful. Leave your comments below. I am out.